Unchained is played with drop D tuning, meaning the sixth string is tuned down a whole step, allowing for some very unique chord shapes. Unchained is track five from Van Halen's 1981 Fair Warning album. The EVH Wolfgang features the D tuna, which allows us to instantly tune the sixth string down a whole step by disengaging the mechanism. If you don't have a D tuna on your guitar, just tune the sixth string to this pitch. The rest of the strings use the same tuning as the other songs on this DVD. See the bonus half step tuner in the main menu if you haven't already tuned down a half step. Unchained uses the typical Van Halen effects settings. We get a martial sound using the plexitone, then chorus, flanger, and echo. The depth is boosted more than usual in the chorus effect for the solo. <laughs> The intro uses one finger major chords on strings 2, 3, and 4. Starting with the 7th fret D, just bar your index finger across the strings and strum. For the next chord, add your middle finger to the 2nd string 8th fret and you have a D sus4. Drop down to the 3rd fret barred for a B flat. Add the middle finger for B flat sus4 then lift it for another B-flat. Move up to the 5th fret for a C. Middle finger on the 2nd string makes a C sus4, then lift for C. Now take these chords and add some palm mutes between the notes. Start with D, D sus4. The first time, play 5 open 6 string palm mutes. Drop down to B-flat, Sus4, E flat, 1D palm mute, up to C, Sus4, C, 1 palm mute, up to D, Sus4, 4, 4D palm mutes. Move the chord shape up to bar the 10th fret for an F chord. Add the middle finger to the 2nd string 11 for F sus4, back to F, a single 4th string 10th fret palm mute, F again, then a new C chord, 2nd string 8 with the index, 3rd string 9 with the middle, and 4th string 10 with the ring. For the first ending, play two open D notes. So we have 7th fret D, to sus4, five pedal tones, drop down to the third fret for B flat, sus4, B flat, pedal tone, up to C, sus4, C, pedal tone, back to D, sus4, four pedal tones, up to the tenth fret F, sus4, F, pedal on the 4th string 10, F, C, then two pedal tones. Repeat the whole rhythm, but after D, D sus4, there are only four pedal tones on the second repetition. The rest is the same up to the end. After C, there are no pedal tones. Just go to the third repetition. Then play the fourth repetition. After C, the fourth repetition ends with a string rake. Lift the chord, but stay in contact with the strings and strum. So the chords stay the same, but there are variations in the beginning and end. On the first and third repetition, start with D, D sus4, 
and five pedal tones. On the second and fourth, play the chords, then four pedal tones. On the first ending, play the chords, then two pedal tones. The second ending, play the chords and skip the pedal tones. Go right to the beginning. The third ending is chords in a single pedal tone. The fourth ending, play the chords, then a string rake. Here's the intro at a practice run of half speed. comes in for phrase two on the fifth string third fret with vibrato, then the fifth fret, an open sixth string low D note pedal tone, back to the fifth string third fret with vibrato, two more pedal tones, back up and slide up to the fifth string fifth fret with the ring finger, next play the fourth string third fret, then third string third, by barring the index finger across the third fret. Slide the whole shape up two frets, ring finger on the fifth string seven, third string five to fourth string five with the index finger bar. Finish up with two low D pedal tones. Each repetition of the verse starts off with the same riff but the second half is slightly different. The second time, play the main riff, then slide the ring finger up the fourth string to the 10th fret, barring it to play two notes on the second string 10th fret. Back to the fourth string 10 with a palm mute, then second string eight with the index to third string nine with the middle. Back to the first half of the verse, but with a slight variation. Play the main verse riff, slide up to the fifth string five, bar the third fret on strings four and three, then slide up two frets playing the fifth string seven, fourth string five, and third string five. For the second half, play the same riff, and slide up to the 10th fret position. But this time slide down from the fourth string 10 at the end. Phrase three introduces the bridge, which uses a new chord shape. Since the sixth string is tuned down to D, you can bar power chords with one finger across strings four, five, and six. Here I'm barring the fifth fret for a G chord, then adding the third string seventh fret with the ring finger. Move it up two frets, and it becomes an A5 power chord. 
The rhythm pattern starts with the G5 chord shape, palm muting two notes on the fourth string, fifth fret, followed by chord notes on strings three and four, played twice. Next, lift your fingers off the fretboard, but keep in contact with the strings, picking the fourth string, fifth fret harmonics. Keep your ring finger in the chord shape, and all you have to do is relieve pressure. Pick the notes, then apply pressure. Pick the fourth and third string chord notes, slide down two frets, then back up. Strum the full G5 chord, followed by chord notes on the fifth and sixth string only. Drop down two frets, picking the third fret bar. Here's what we have so far. Move back up to the G5 position, pick the two harmonics, then third and fourth string chord notes. Next is one harmonic. Repeat the third and fourth string chord notes, then the fifth and sixth string chord notes. Two harmonics, then third and fourth string chord, slide, down, then up, and on the fifth and sixth string third fret, and slide up the neck to about the seventh fret. Slide up to the seventh fret, to the A5 chord position, play strings five and six, then double up on fourth string seventh fret harmonics, followed by third and fourth string chord tones, a single harmonic, third and fourth string chord notes, then fifth and sixth string chord notes, dull harmonics, then third and fourth string chord notes, slide down two frets, and back up, and with fifth and sixth string chord notes. Repeat, and move down two frets. The bridge wraps up with two seventh fret harmonics, third and fourth string chord notes, one harmonic, chord notes, then double notes on the fifth and sixth string, first on the fifth fret, then a walk down, seven, six, five, three. Let's put it all together at a practice pace of half speed. After the bridge, the chorus is played using the same chords as the intro for two repetitions. Throughout the song, Eddie sometimes combines the palm mute technique with a pick scrape technique, slightly scraping up while palm muting. Chords and then slightly scraping down while palm muting. Here's the guitar parts to the verse, bridge, and chorus played at full speed. The guitar solo is played over the chords to the bridge, but the notes are picked differently. Since there are only single notes for this section, I play the sixth string notes with the middle finger and fourth string notes with the ring finger. Starting on the fifth fret G position, play the sixth string, fourth string, then sixth with vibrato. Double pick notes on the fourth string, then sixth string with vibrato, 
and drop down to the third fret, back up to the fifth fret, double notes on the fourth string, sixth string with vibrato, and again double up on the fourth string, sixth string with vibrato. The notes use a staccato technique, which means they are held for a very short duration. Move up to the 7th fret for the A part of the rhythm, pick the 6th string, double up on notes on the 4th, back to 6. 4th string, slide down to 5, back up to 7, 6th string 7 with vibrato, down to 5. 4th string, double up notes on the 7, to 6th string 5 with vibrato. In the same walk down as the bridge, starting with a single 6 string 7th fret, then double notes on 6, 5, 3, then another chorus. The guitar solo starts on the third string with fifth fret harmonics. Triple pick by lightly touching the string above the fifth fret wire, followed by a tremolo bar dip. Next, pick a single third fret harmonic, dip the bar, and sound the third string open on the return and lightly hammer to the third fret. Phrase 6 comes in with two-handed tapping. On the second string, hammer a finger from your picking hand to the 8th fret. I use my middle finger for this, then pull off to the index finger of the playing hand on the 3rd fret, and hammer the ring finger to the 6th. Repeat the tap, pull to 3, hammer to 6, tap 8, pull to 6, tap 8, pull to 6, pull to 3. With your ring finger, hammer to the 3rd string 5th fret, bend, hold, and return. Play the 3rd string 3rd fret, then 5th fret with an artificial harmonic. To achieve the harmonic, pick the string, allowing the thumb to lightly touch the string at the same time as the pick. Next is four staccato pull-offs on the first string 13, pull to 10. Pre-bend the 12th fret, release the bend, then return the bend and silence the note. Pick 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 pull to 14, 12 to second string 15, first string 12 to second string 13, slide 13 down the neck, then slide up with the index finger. On the first string, play 17, then 15 with the index finger. 15 again with a bend, Release, bend, and release. Middle finger on the second string 17 to first string 19 with the ring or pinky. Pull to 15, move up two frets to 17, then 20 with the ring, 19, 20, 19, 20, bend and hold, release, bend, release, and bend. Then repeat a chorus.
for A is 9, start with an open A5. Fifth string open, second fret on strings 4 and 3. Turn the guitar volume down for the halftime section and finger pick the first and second string, third fret, four times. Next, finger pick the first string, second fret, along with the second string, third fret, six times. Hit the fifth string open, then finger pick the third string open with the fourth string, second fret, six times. End on the third and fourth string, second fret. Hold and slide up the neck. Play the second string eight with the third string nine. Slide up the neck. Play the 14th fret on both strings. Pull off to a barred 12th fret. Silence the strings. Hammer to 12 to 14. Silence, then repeat. 14 pull to 12. 12 hammer to 14. Play 2nd string 10 with the index, along with 3rd string 11 with the middle, and hammer to 12 on both strings using the ring and pinky. Drop down to a barred 7 on both strings. Play again and hammer the middle finger to the 2nd string 8. Finger pick the barred 7. Play it again, but this time lightly touch the strings above the 19th fret to sound harmonics. Then again without harmonics. Play the third string seven with the fourth string nine and lightly touch the 19th fret for harmonics on those strings. Play the notes again with no harmonics. Drop down to the third string open played with the fourth string two. Play this four times then add the third string two. Increase the volume Play a very quick 1st and 2nd string 3rd fret. Next is a build up to the chorus using the A5 power chord. Start with the 4 open A notes. Then add the 4th string notes 4 times. Then add the 3rd string notes. Strum 3 times and repeat the chords. There's an overdub guitar during the halftime section. Starting on the third string, 14th fret, dip the tremolo bar and return by hammering to the 14th fret. Play the note again, dip and return, and slide down to 12, dip and return, slide down to 10. Use this dip and return between each note. Next slide up to 12. 10, 9, 10, 9, 7, 9, 7, 5, 2.
phrase 11, play the second string 17 to first string 14, 14 again back to 17. 17, pull off to 15, and on first string 17. Next is a series of octaves, play the third string 14 with the index finger, along with the first string 17 with the ring finger. The bottom of the index finger should lightly touch the second string to prevent stray notes from ringing out. Slide this shape from 14 down to 12. 12 again, slide down to 11. Drop down to 9. Slide up to 11, back down to 9, down to 7, down to 6. The lead guitar fades out until the buildup, where pick scrapes are applied to the 4th string, down the 5th, and up the 6th, followed by a 19th fret slide down the neck. Phrase 12 starts off the outro solo with octaves on the 6th string 3 along with the 4th string 3. Slide up to 7, 7 again slide up to 10, 10 slide up to 12, 12 slide down. Change to 5th string octaves starting on the 10th fret played along with the 3rd string 12. Pick three times, drop down to the fifth string eight with the third string ten and pick three times, down one fret, pick three times, slide two frets down to the fifth fret, pick again and slide down the neck. Slide your index finger up the second string to the tenth fret, ring on thirteen, 13 bend, release, and pull to 10, 13, 13 bend. For phrase 13, bend and release the 13th fret, pull off to 10, hammer to 13, finger tap 15, pull off to 13, pull to 10, hammer back to 13. Next, tap 17, pull to 13, to 10, hammer to 13. Tap 15 again, pull to 13, to 10, hammer to 13. Repeat 17 to 13, 10 to 13. Tap 15, pull to 13. Move to the third string, tap 14, pull to 12, 14 to 12 to 10 with vibrato and slide down the neck. Bar the 10th fret for phrase 14 and palm mute the 4th string, then play 2 and 3 together. Palm mute the 4th string 10, 12 with the ring, then the barred 10 on strings 2 and 3 with a slight bend. Back to 4th string, palm mute 12, 10, then barred 10 on strings 2 and 3, strum it 3 times, slide down the 3rd string 9, then slide down the neck. Slide up the 4th string to 15, 15, 15, slide to 14, 2nd string 13, bend, and release.
On the first string, bend 13, hold 13 again and release. This starts off phrase 15. Next, walk down 13, 12, 11, 10 to second string 13. 13 again with a pre bend and release, pull off to 10. Second string 12, back to first string 10. Pre bend second string 12, release the bend, bend again and release, pull off to 10. Bar the 12th fret with the ring finger and pick strings 4, 3, 4 to index finger on the 3rd string, 10th fret, hammer to 11. Phrase 16 ends the song with octave shapes. Hold the 5th string 10 along with the 3rd string 12. This is the only time you pick in phrase 16. Slide 10 up to 12, down to 11, down to 10, down to 9. Up to 10, back up to 12, down to 11, 10, down to 9. Next slide 2 frets down to 7, 2 frets down to 5, two frets down to three, pull off to open, lightly hammer the sixth string around the sixth fret and quickly slide down to three. Then lightly lift it to subtly sound the sixth string open. The outro chorus uses the same chords as the rest of the song, but the very last time there is a change up on the 10th fret F. Coming out of D, D sus4, add an extra pedal tone, bar the 10th fret F, and strum 5 times, and switch to C. One pedal tone, repeat F to C. Open pedal tone, then play F sus4 by adding the middle finger, switch back to F and strum four times. C, open six string pedal tone, then end on a D5 power chord. Here we're using the sixth string open, fifth string five, fourth and third string seven. 